Hey there everyone, today we'll be reviewing the Kberg Jackal. In front of me today is the Kberg Jackal, the successor to the Kberg Stunt. This helmet is going to be giving you aggressive looks, all at a lower price tag. This helmet is coming in at about 140 euros, or about 150 US dollars. This helmet will be competing with the AGV K3SV if you've got a bit more money to spend, as well as the Shark Squall 2 and the HJC i70. Don't forget we've got plenty more reviews on our YouTube channel, including an entry-level helmet guide, which you can check out if you want to look at more entry-level helmets. So let's start with the K-Brig Jackal's shell. The shell here is polycarbonate plastic, which is good, it'll give good impact resistance, but it'll be a bit heavier than carbon or fiberglass helmets since you need a bit more material to reach that same level of protection. The k Stunt got two stars from Sharp, which isn't great. However, this helmet has not been rated yet, but this helmet is ECE certified, so it is road legal. This helmet does come in two shell sizes, which isn't bad for most entry-level helmets. So while some may experience the helmet looking a little bit bulky, two shell sizes is still not bad. This helmet is also coming in weighing about 1,470 grams in a size M, which is also actually pretty light for a polycarbonate helmet. For ventilation, the k Jackal is going to be giving you plenty. In the chin here, you have this vent that you can open or close, depending on what, how much air you want in the helmet. You've also got these two side intakes right there. This chin vent will let air into the front of the helmet, which will help with demisting the visor right there. Up top, we have these two vents, which you can open or close, depending on how much air you want in the helmet. And you've got this scoop to help with the cooling. In the back here, you've got this exhaust there to help let the hot air out. The one disadvantage of all these vents is that this helmet will be loud since a lot more of the road noise will be getting in. Taking a look at the visor here, it should offer you a good field of view. The visor is pinlock repaired and it's anti-scratch treated. However, the anti-fog pinlock lens does not come with the box, which is unfortunate since a lot of other helmets in this price range do. Nonetheless, this helmet does come with the sun visor. You operate it using this small slider here and it just brings the dark smoke visor down, which is good for sport touring. To open the visor, you'll want it in the fully open position, and you'll notice that the mechanism is different from the Kberg stunt in that, it, in that it has an integrated mechanism rather than a screw. To use the mechanism, you just need to pull the lever on the side and wiggle the visor free. Doing the same on the other side, you just do the same, pull the lever and wiggle the visor out, and it should come out very easily. Putting, back, putting it back in, is also the same process, just in reverse. You need to open the lever mechanism and work the visor into the grooves until it clicks and the mechanism closes again. You need to do the same on the other side, and that's all you need to do to replace the visor on the k Jackal. If we take a look at the liner on the k Jackal, it's also not too bad. The liner on the Jackal is hypoallergenic, removable, and washable. This helmet also uses a micro-ratchet chin strap. So, if you take a look at the side, First, you'll want to take a look at the cheek pads, which are attached by buttons at the top and the front. You'll need to thread it out through the chin strap and pull it out from the inserts. It looks like it'll be comfortable for an entry-level helmet. The finish quality looks very good so far. Now, just the other cheek pad, and it's the same process. For the comfort liner now, you're going to have to pull it out through the front, where it's attached with some snaps, three in the forehead, and then the insert at the back, and the liner should come out. The liner looks nice, it's got some holes to help with ventilation, it's a bit basic, but it should still do reasonably well. Now if we take a look at the EPS grooves, you'll see that they're actually very deep on this helmet, which will be good for ventilation, especially given all those other vents spaced around the front of this helmet. If you'd like to purchase the Kberg Jackal, make sure to head to championhelmets.com where we have a lowest price guarantee. So that's all for the Kberg Jackal helmet. It's a decent entry level helmet, it'll give you good comfort and great ventilation, and it's a pretty lightweight helmet as well. The main gripes about this helmet would be it hasn't been rated by Sharp yet and its predecessor only got two stars. The rest of them would be that it doesn't come with the anti-fog pin lock insert in the box and it's also a very noisy helmet. But let us know what you think in the comments down below as well as your experiences, questions, anything else. And if you like the video, be sure to subscribe. I'm Sebastian from Champion Helmets and thanks for watching.